Hello everyone and welcome to a very special presentation from Hyundai Motor. I'm here with three colleagues who I will introduce in a moment and a really exciting concept car which we're happy to show you for the first time. You'll hear more about the car soon. Before that, let me welcome Andreas Christoph Hoffmann, Thomas Schemira, Great to be here. And Luke Donkervolka. Hi, David. Andreas, maybe you can set the scene and tell us where Hyundai is right now. At Hyundai, it's about real progress. Progress is at the heart of our brand. And real progress with tangible benefits for our customers. And it also has to be, in a certain way, sustainable. We say for the long-term good of humanity. That's a good one, Andreas. Uh, it's not just about delivering cars. That's exactly what Hyundai stands for. Our focus on technology and innovation in the end must serve the needs of our customers. And that's why we are becoming more than just a car manufacturer. We provide mobility solutions. Yeah. And what does that mean for design, Luke? Well, Hyundai has always been an audacious and progressive brand from the very first days. And all new technologies gives us today the possibility to incorporate this into, into the whole brand. And today we will show how that transfers into reality. And if it comes to the future, we are already on our way. We are leading the change in technology and as well in customer needs. Latest proof, the Ionic, our Nexo, and of course our Kona Electric. Clear statements for our clear commitment to electromobility. That's perfectly right, Andreas. With all of these electrified models, we are offering the broadest range of electrified powertrains in the industry. And from mild hybrids up to fuel cell, we have to go beyond using our technology for producing cars. Take our fuel cell technology. This can be implemented as a future energy service in healthcare as well as in holistic mobility concepts. And on top of that, real progress is key for us to meet the changing needs of our customers globally. Right. Thomas, you can already see the impact in design today. We want to provide more mobility all over the globe. We create cars that match the needs and, and tastes of all customers. Electrification allows us to take advantage of increased space. We combine a sleek, elegant exterior design with state-of-the-art technologies. That's a very good point, Luke. And I can say in 2020, this will be our year of electrification. We will supply around 80,000, 80,000 vehicles in Europe with zero emission. We are still the only manufacturer at this stage to offer fully electrified SUV lineup. And end of 2020, more than 75% of our cars in Europe will be completely electrified. So that's uh, some big statements for Europe, Andreas. Uh, Thomas, on a global scale? Well, Hyundai Motor Group is expanding its lineup to 44 electrified vehicles. This is a very massive increase. By 2025, we are going to invest almost 50 billion euros for research and development of future technologies. Mm. We want to offer the most of our new models with EV drivetrains by 2030 in major markets. And five years later, by 2035, also in emerging markets. Sales of more than 670,000 batteries and fuel cell electric vehicles are planned annually by 2025. This will position us among the top three EV providers globally. And I can tell you that uh, bringing electrification is not only for the future, but as well, if you're looking into the introduction of our new i20, we electrify this car as well. So we will have the first time a mild hybrid powertrain. And the new all-new i20 is a really important car for us because it's the first car that incorporates our new design philosophy, right. sensual sportiness. Maybe you can explain a little bit, Luke, in your words, sensual sportiness. What does it mean? And maybe especially what will it mean when we look at this car later? I'm going to try to make a long story short, but it's a result of four years of work where when I started, we noticed that we needed to make a big jump. And um, it, it incorporates different parameters. Already the word sensuous integrates the values of more, emotional, or more emotionality in our designs. Sportiness implies dynamics, implies also to be reactive to what's happening around us. Um, and then 
it has other side effects. For instance, we have such a diversity of vehicles all over the world that we want to tailor cars for all specific needs, markets, and, and customers implies that we have got rid of the family look. We have the typical Hyundai look, which, which we really address the, the, to the cars to the personality of our buyers. And then also it implies the whole new process of um, digitalizing the whole uh, creation of the vehicles, to be faster on the market, to be more reactive. So the sensual sportiness is not about a formal language philosophy. It's about a new concept in the creation of our cars. Sounds great. So you're really making cars our customers can be proud to drive. And don't forget about fun to drive, guys. That's why motorsport is key to our electrification strategy. Electric racing will become one of the core pillars of Hyundai Motorsport strategy. Yeah, there's more to come, hopefully. Sure. This year, we will compete in the ETCR with our first ever electric touring car, the Veloster N ETCR. We are joining forces with small, innovative companies like Arrival and Remark. These partners are incubators, so to speak, speedboats for new ideas. With Remark, for example, we are looking into high-performance battery solutions and powertrains that are both modular and scalable. Both partnerships will bring our competitiveness to the next level. By the way, the next hot thing from Hyundai and Remark will be shown at the New York Auto Show. Can't wait to see that. And as a designer, Luke, I guess you can't wait to get your hands on these platforms. Absolutely. The modularity of our new EV platforms give us much more freedom to create revolutionary design concepts. Um, our latest concept right behind us demonstrates that well. Right, and this is what we all want to see. So what have you got for us? Just let me say one more thing before we show it to you. We believe in a vision called optimistic futurism and a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde character. The aim being to contrast nature and technology emotion and practicality, analog and digital worlds to create that tension. That said, this is prophecy. Look, I have to admit, you guys from design have been doing a stunning job, really. Congrats. But it's quite different from what we know from Hyundai until now, I believe. That was what we were looking, something that would inspire us um, for the next cars to come. You know, just not just a, a firework, but just something that would have a long-lasting influence on, on, on future projects. And it's also different from what you see on the road today, because simply what happened in the last years is, since the 70s, we have been influenced by the Latin way of constructing cars, which is the autographic design. So the side view, the front view, the top view. And so here we went back to the 20s and the 30s, where cars were sculptural, they were streamlined, and they were more emotional. It's almost like what we saw about the, the times where fu the future was optimistic and people were not afraid of the future. So this is trying to incorporate those values into the, 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 the shape. And also the uh, LED architecture looks very, very interesting. We needed a contrast. We're talking about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And this is about the contrast between those sleek forms and this, this construction game there, which brings again um, you know, the opposite, the antagonism, which is really necessary in design. So look, congratulations to a stunning design, I guess. A couple of guys behind, right? Yes, um, thank you for, for your nice words. There's a lot of people behind them. There's uh, what I call my dream team is uh, in the last four years, they became a winning team. And this is only possible with all the hard work they've been doing. So I think let's hear from them now. Sensual sportiness. It's the logical and emotional connection. Technologies and art. Perfect balance between the functionality and aesthetic. 
a good design should strike at the first moment you look at it. We look at everything that's going on, whether it's fashion industry or mobility industry. One image is the black pebble on the beach. Natural elements. The changing times. By rethinking, you challenge yourself. But without challenge, design is not that fun. Sustainability is no longer optional. This is a responsibility of the designer. We actually came up with the idea with kind of like a joystick. I would say this is the most striking feature of this interior. It frees up the space. This had an impact on the whole design. Well, part of the joy I get is getting into trouble. But we're here to push and push and push. The bubble shape, like a spaceship, gives you a feeling that the future could be bright and delightful. If we can create a product where people smile and see an optimistic future, that's what our goal is. The real progress in design is to be honest. We want to create optimism again. It has to be the blueprint of the under design in future. The real voice for the future. Do it and believe it. It looks stunning. Absolutely. Well, that's a first great reaction, but now let's get inside and look at all the amazing details. Rays. Wow, what is that? Isn't it cool? Absolutely. Absolutely. Going from the relaxed mode to a driving mode, um, but keeping all the, 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 the space you need um, that, that you have already on the floor pan, and you also have it on the, on the dashboard. Absolutely amazing, but look, please don't get me wrong, but where's the steering wheel? <laughs> well, the same concept of trying to liberate the space that we get from the electric platform came into the ergonomic uh, interface with the driver. So we worked on with the AWTH of Aachen on creating a digital communication. And um, by using the joysticks, you have a more precise interface with the driver, but at the same time, we don't have the steering wheel that we have to retract for the lifestyle mode. So that means you have two joysticks installed yes. and uh, you navigate with these joysticks, so to speak, through the environment, yes. right? 90% of the commands can be uh, executed through the two joysticks. It's a really precise uh, uh, command. But at the same time, we even have a doubling of some functions uh, for security like the pedals. And we talked about the exterior. We, we emphasized a little bit on on the wheel and we said that this was inspired, the design was inspired by aerospace industry. Has it been also inspired by the aerospace industry? You have pedals, you have joysticks, you have an iconic wheel. It does. You see it on the, the streamline outside with the, with the dome inside, which automatically has this cockpit feel. And uh, obviously the joystick gives this feeling of aeronautically inspired, which is extremely emotional. But, but look, beside all this great technology, I detected a very new kind of fabric. Can you explain it? Is, is it wool or what kind yes. of fabric is this? Well, it's actually, it's, it's actually a tartan wool fabric, which, is, um, which we love because it contrasts the really soft shapes of Oka. It com contradicts and complements mm -hmm. the, the shapes. But at the same time, it is, again, one of the sustainable materials we use. All the materials we use are absolutely sustainable. It belongs to the whole concept of being, of reducing the footprint of this vehicle. So look, are there any new technologies in regards of air conditioning or clean air? Yes, actually, it's a, it's a part of the concept of the vehicle as we have this dome um, housed into the streamlined body. So you have a double glazing, which incorporates the, the clean air purifier. But on top of that, it creates a, a thermic cushion, which allows to have to use utilize less energy for the air conditioning. Um, by having this recirculation, re purifying of the air, and at the same time, um, insulating you from the outside temperature, you can optimize the energy you need from the batteries for the motion okay. of the vehicle. That's, that's really new, huh? new technology we have never seen before. And completely integrate into the architecture of the design right. of the vehicle. Nice. And it be taken as, as uh, so to speak, test bed? Of course. I mean, this, is, this is, would be like the, the, the Apple loop, uh, which is reducing uh, energy from the air conditioning. The same thing applies to cars. We have to be efficient in all the aspects of the vehicle. 
Let's have a quick look at the curved screen in the front, in the very front. It goes from, so to speak, coast to coast, right? Yes, exactly. You have basically in an entertainment mode, you have the, the access to a panoramic display, uh, but only in the in the relaxed mode. Uh, as soon as you drive, you basically have the focusing on the elements, on the, uh, the, what's in the instruments that are needed for driving. Wow. Very nice. Very cool, yeah. And the roominess is amazing. It, it, is, it is, again, the, the great advantage of this electric platform where you, you have the flat floor pan combined with the joysticks, as we mentioned before. It, it just gives you such a generosity and such a great lounge feel. It's really different. Nice. Let's leave those three to their discussion, otherwise this could be a very long show. It was a pleasure to introduce you to Hyundai's vision and to present our fantastic concept EV Prophecy. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.